Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is structured cabling and three basic components in a typical star network: telecommunications room, horizontal cabling, and work area. Structured cabling refers to a set of standards for enterprise-wide cabling systems specified by TIAEIA 568 Commercial Building Wiring Standard. Structured cabling consists of many components such as work area, horizontal cabling, telecommunications room, IDF, MDF, backbone cabling, DMARC, and entrance facility. We can consider them as building blocks for a network cabling system. Structured cabling defines how to design, build, and manage a cabling system. It can enable cabling system with consistency so that the future cabling updates will be easier to handle and would support multi-vendor products and environments. There are several versions of TIAEIA 568 standard. In this video and the next several videos, I will discuss the standards in general rather than any specific version. There are three basic components of structured cabling in a star network or topology. Telecommunications room, horizontal cabling, and work area. Telecommunications room is also known as telecommunications closet or enclosure or simply telecom room. It typically houses switches, hubs, or other connectivity devices. It's the heart of the basic star network. It's the end point of all horizontal cabling runs from all work areas. It also provides cross-connection to other equipment room such as IDF or another telecom room. Horizontal cabling is also known as horizontal wiring or horizontal cabling run. It goes more or less horizontally from the telecom room to the data jack on the wall. Both Ethernet cable and fiber optic cable can be used for horizontal cabling. With a twist pair cable, CMP rated and a solid core STP is recommended. With a fiber cable, multi-mode or single mode are recommended nowadays. The maximum length STP for the horizontal cabling is 90 meters. Work area is where the workstation is connected to termination point of horizontal cabling. The wall outlet is a termination point where the horizontal cabling come out the wall and sometimes we call the wall outlet data jack or a cable drop. A patch cable is used to connect to the end user computer. To comply with EIA TIA 568 wiring standard and Ethernet cable standard, the maximum length of a UTP STP cable from the telecom room to workstation is 100 meters. The length of a patch cable from workstation to wall outlet should be limited to 3 meters. The horizontal cabling round from the outlet in the work area to the patch panel in the telecom room should be limited to 90 meters. In the telecom room, the patch cable from the patch panel to a connectivity device such as a switch or hub should be no longer than 6 meters. Structure cabling refers to a set of standards and methods for building 
enterprise-wide cabling systems. There are three basic components in a star network, telecom room, horizontal cabling, and work area. They are basic building blocks for enterprise-wide structured cabling along with more components such as IDF, MDF, backbone cabling, DMARC, and entrance facility which I will discuss in my next video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.